appreciate Tom Peterson tonight. Not only that, not only that, but he, we've never had a belt or anything for a three-sided team match, but Tom Peterson bought three trophies here, and whoever wins this match tonight can take home the trophy for the winners of this bout. They only got two guys. Now this will be a three-sided team match, but if Matt Thorne isn't ready to join you, are we going on with the match ready? We want a timeout until Matt Bourne gets out here. Now, the next event will be the best two out of three falls are to a TV time limit. Introducing in this corner the team of Playboy Buddy Rose, Rip Oliver, and if he gets here, Matt Bourne. Their opponents in this corner, the team of Rocky Johnson, Steve Riggle, and Hack Sawyer. Matt Bourne may be a little too embarrassed. I really think that he stood there in his pink skivvies for a minute or so, so enraged that what Riggle did to him that he it was just all of a sudden he realized he was standing there in his shorts. Buddy Rose yelling once again about Ian Oliver going back to Atlanta. And they're going to go on their trip to win the... Uh, Buddy, Buddy, if we do all the plugs, we won't get to wrestle. He's going to be in Atlanta, Ian Oliver. And next week, taking shot at that big international tag team tournament. And on the 1st of March, he'll be down on the ice trying to score against uh, one of the Winter Hawks goalies. Between periods, not during the game. Rose wants timeout. Matt Bourne still has not come out of the dressing room, and I don't know if it's because it... Uh, It certainly didn't take him long to get dressed down. He was dressed down by the time before he left the crow's nest. Or might it be a little embarrassment? We'll wait and see. Rocky Johnson to start against the Playboy, Buddy Rose. Well, you know the crowd's for it. Johnson. Apparently, Matt Bourne is out of the dressing room. I see Betty Rose wildly waving at him, and here he comes. Matt Bourne joins his team, belatedly. It's been Regal. Uh oh, here he comes, and Bourne bails out. Well, I'm wrong. Before I said it, I was going to say Regal has been the one after Bourne to get him in the ring. I thought after what happened up here in the crow's nest, and Matt Bourne maybe wasn't Regal, but he doesn't want any part of him right now. The minute Regal caught the tag and came in, Bourne left. No uncertain terms. Top wrist lock. Regal turns it over to an arm bar. Attack, and here comes the hacker. The Northwest heavyweight champ comes off the top rope. On Oliver, arm drag slam goes to the wing lock. It 
Kondraki. So give me a shot at that from that top turn, but that looks pretty good. Double club low right on the elbow. Now underneath the arm. The uppercut. Regal in. Turns the armbar over one side. Two. Three. And Bourne not taking the tag. Bourne's in where he could get the tag. Finally Rose takes it. Armbar. Turned over. They got him hurt, Bourne. Now you can come in. Got him with the arm. Bourne and he hit Rose. Bourne came off the top turnbuckle and smeared Rose. Framed him. Now Rocky and Hacksaw. Both get a little work in on the Playboy. Ah, oh, what a night, what a match. This has already been historic. First time we ever had an enforced trip in the crow's nest. Fifteen years, and there's still things happening that have never happened before. And what a spring we're going to have. Champion of the world with Flair coming in in April, in May. Andre the Giant. A lot of kids here tonight. It's not kids' night. But we're always glad to see the youngsters here because the next generation, they are the next generation of wrestling fans. Now, Born coming in on Regal. Regal coming back. And once again, Born bails out the minute Regal makes any kind of a rally. And he's still got Scar underneath the left eye where Bourne got him last week. Rose yelling up the TV, Bonneville, we take care of each other. I say, don't worry about Bourne. Those of us in the Army all take care of each other. Well, on many occasions, regrettably, that's so to a fault. They lock up. Regal catches Bourne. Bourne was going to go in. Lay one on him. A roundhouse lined up. Windmill right hand by Rocky. And this crowd is a real wrestling crowd tonight. They're loving it. Claiming Rocky has something in his hand, a lot of power. Everybody gets a shot at the Playboy. Covered with a body press. Rocky in and out quite a bit tonight. Regal. Born doesn't want to take the tag. Regal is in there. Oliver takes it, but it's not going to be allowed. He said, you're up on the top rope. Oliver could not reach him from there. Moonshot, I tell you, we're going to have to go subscription TV and charge for this show. They'll call it off TV. Oh, 
Rockies able to tag out. A little bit of possum played by Rocky. And here comes Wingo. And Bard does get the tag out. Not Wingo. Hit Morton in there for a time. The story that I get, and I was not here Tuesday night, but I'm told that the referee did this because of the Army being down at ringside. Regal get caught with a low blow. Then after that, he was picked up by Bourne, put in the airplane, spin, and pin. Shot Regal caught in the Army's corner and Axaw and Rocky in there. Well, let me chase out. Triple team on Regal. And they're going up through the crowd, past the crow's nest, all the way back. We're oh, trying to get a camera on it. Good work, guys. That is way back in the corner of the arena where the dressing rooms are. Rocky Johnson returning and chasing Buddy Rose heading all the way through the dressing room. Axaw is back. And finally born and the Playboy are both back at ringside. Well, a 15th year show has turned out to be memorable. Thanks mostly to Matt Bourne, but I don't think uh, he wants to take the credit. A tag. Regal caught in a bear hug by Rose. Regal over for the tag. Over the top with a victory roll. Pat Sawyer pins Buddy Rose for the first ball. We're going to run down to towns for the next couple of weeks here in a moment. Fifteen years we've been around, nearly all that time. Tom Peterson's the man that's been with us. I want to thank him for that. Thank him for bringing a couple hundred people out here tonight, too. Axel Sawyer over Buddy Rose. That's the way the first ball ended. Watch out, double slingshot gone. The belt went. Buddy Rose may have injured himself. And if they did, one whole, one whole ring post went. The whole ring post collapsed over by the timer. Rose is down. The ring post gave way. Well, in pro wrestling, you just keep going. No matter what happens, they're into the ropes. Watch out. This can be a dangerous situation. Rose is up. Rose is up. Stunned momentarily. Watch out. Rose is taking the ring loose. This is going to turn to a pier sixer. A steel ring post. The whole thing gave way. The farthest from the uh, cameras. Sandy Barr trying to break it up there in the ropes. All right, now Rocky Johnson get the worst of it. Well, <laughs> I was looking for an interesting night. I didn't think it would be quite this memorable. This has never happened before. 
We've had turnbuckles break, but never the whole the whole uh, ring post. Either snap off or to come unhooked. The wrestling goes on. Matt Bourne is in, working on Rocky Johnson. Rocky's hurt. They've got Rocky in trouble. Left hand to the side of the head and another one. Oliver is back in. Oliver and Rose going down to the International Tag Team Tournament in Atlanta next week. Choking over the top rope. Oliver on Johnson. Johnson is in a lot of trouble. Rocky has been hurt. They've really gotten to him, gotten him in the loose ropes a couple of times, choked him. Underneath the tag, here comes Hacksaw. Hacksaw. Whoa. Born taking loose the top turnbuckle and using it on Sawyer. Sawyer is prone. He could be put away and might be cut. I thought I saw some blood. They are triple teaming. Johnson and Regal will be sent back. They use the top turnbuckle on him again. Cover Hacksaw with a body press. Oliver does, and it's all even, but you saw it happen. But Sandy Barr did not. It is all even and a fall a piece, and am I glad we got this one on television. That's wrong. They could not get, they have not yet been able to get that ring post fixed. They are wrestling the third and final fall without ropes. Down on the promoter set, a match has been made. The people have paid their money to see it. Wrestlers take the chances when they get into a ring with a steel ring post in a far neutral corner where the timekeeper is is broken we've been working on it and we have been stopped on in the tape so it'll seem like a twinkling to you but we've been here some uh, 30 40 minutes and so only the second time ever i've seen a pro match gone without ropes and that was not in an elevated ring that was on floor mats one time in an exhibition. So we are wrestling without the ropes. If you've just turned in, no, you didn't get any bad stuff. Well, maybe you did, but it uh, doesn't make any difference. Now some idiot at ringside throwing something. It is all even at a fall apiece. Earlier in the show, I mentioned this was our 15th anniversary, 15 years of Portland wrestling. And we hope that it might be somewhat momentous. It has been more momentous than we had ever planned on. Now, Dutch Side is going to be down at uh, Dutch Side. Dutch Savage is going to be down at Ringside for whatever reason. And now he's walking away, so he's going to not do anything official. Wrestling. If somebody tunes in, right, I'm going to quit explaining it for a few minutes. Somebody tunes in, <laughs> and they haven't been tuned in. What are they going to think? They're going to go crazy, folks. So let's not mention it for a few minutes. Axar, side headlock being pulled over in the corner. Buddy Rose coming in. Whoa! Outside the ring. It's about eight minutes remaining in the match. Rocky Johnson is out, helping his young partner to his feet, and a few words of encouragement. Maybe some strategy. Buddy Rose, the playboy. boy. 
Went to take the man in the corner. Now goes. And wants to throw him off the edge of the ring. He is trying to throw him down to the canvas. He comes over the top. Was it a three count or a two count? Only a two. Axon nearly got the second ball. Now, body slam in the middle of the ring. Rose went to throw his man down on the concrete floor. Hacksaw, small packages. Oliver takes the tag. He's in after Hacksaw. Gives him a backbreaker on Bourne's knee. Oh, what a wild one this is. This is memorable. This is classic. Backbreaker. Hacksaw has had it. No! I beg your pardon. Hacksaw's not had it. Oliver with a bear hug. We want Mac is the cry of the crowd. Hacksaw. And a face block going. Trying to get Oliver off the hold. Buddy Rose is in. Suplex. The tag. He suplexes. He's tagged. Born. Born is in with a knee drop. Covers to the body press. Hook the outside leg. And Axel Flair kicks out of that one. And is taking an amazing amount of punishment. Hack Sawyer. He's the champion. He got up and laid one on Rose to tag, and here comes Rocky. Drop kick. Another drop kick. Oliver in, catches her right hand. Headbutt on Rose. Headbutt on Oliver. Rigo gets a hold of Born. Did he bar the door? And they've got... Uh-oh. They got Johnson in the corner. They have rammed. They have rammed him into the uh, steel ring post. Rocky Johnson with his groin slammed into the ring post. Oliver and Rose were out. Each grabbed a leg. The match has been stopped, obviously. The match has been stopped. They're at it again. Trying to get him one more time. And they're down at ringside, still trying it. And Johnson is hurting. Say, the very least, he is hurting. On a big deal. down at ringside Johnson is hurt we've got about four minutes to take care of here before we even start our interview folks but we will hang it right here we'll run it through again if somebody tuned in late the rings have had to be taken down because of the ring post now Bourne is up after Johnson Regal in after Rose The rings could not be replaced because the far neutral corner ring posts, the white posts, 
broke off below the level of the ring so that the ropes were in a very dangerous slack position. There are some trophies to award now. Rocky Johnson, Hack Sawyer, and Regal are going to get the trophies.